Today is the 32nd anniversary of the HMBS Flamingo tragedy. It was on this date back in 1980 that four men lost their lives while on the seas near Ragged Island. They were defending the country's maritime interests when they were attacked by Cuban fighter jets. The boat sank and four of the men Defense Force officers all lost their lives. This story has become a vital part of the history of the Defense Force and by and large the Bahamas as a sovereign nation. Our Clint Watson was there as a memorial was held at the Defense Force base. It's a solemn tribute that has spanned more than three decades. May 10, 1980, four officers of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Abel Seaman Fenric Stirrup and Marine Seaman Edward Williams, Austin Smith and David Tucker died during the sinking of the HMBS Flamingo when the boat was attacked by a Cuban fighter jets. During the annual memorial service and wreath laying ceremony, Defense Force Commodore Roderick Bow paid tribute to the national heroes. Today also serves as a reminder to those, who, those of us who wear this uniform, that it requires the highest degree of personal commitment and sacrifice. We salute the brave men and women who left HMBS, Baha HMBS Pearl Harbor on that ill-fated day and never returned. But we must also pay tribute to those who are still with us today. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Carl Smith, says these men represent the tenets of commitment, courage, and character. These Bahamian heroes, in their commitment to guard our heritage, embraced with pride the challenges as patriotic pace-setters. Their devotion to duty demonstrated, demonstrated the gallantry that is indicative of a higher call to service which members of the Defense Force pledged in duty to the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. These heroes are outstanding examples of courage under fire. Year after year around this time, fresh wreaths are laid in this memorial park. It's a symbolic reminder of the four men that lost their lives. But for the one man who still serves in the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, Whitfield Neely, who was also a part of that team, it appears as though every year the memory's fading. It is painstaking for me also because I think the country is forgetting the members of the Flamingo. And those four members, in my mind, still live on. They have made the ultimate sacrifice, and we continually call for heroes in the country. Clint Watson, ZNS News.